Hey there, Timothy Roberts here. Last week I was in Los Angeles, California on a work slash family trip and I got the opportunity to go uh, visit some cool places, uh, some recording studios, obviously drum shops, and meet up with some uh, buddies of mine that I've only ever interacted with online. So the following is a little vlog of my escapades in LA uh, and I hope you guys enjoy. What's up guys? I'm outside of the historic and famous pro drum shop in Los Angeles. I've been here for a few days and I'm gonna go in and show you guys some of the stuff that I left in the shop that is available. All right, here we go. So, quite a few drums in here. Recognize that. So I was in here the other day and put up some of my cymbals here. So this is a 20 inch Labyrinth ride. I believe it's 1,910 grams. Also left this 20 and 3 quarters flat ride from the Prism series. Uh, I think it's in the 1800 grams, yeah, 1845 grams. And then some 15-inch uh, landmark hats. It's like eight, I think they're nine, 980 over 1200, something like that. K-Stack from Stack Ring. Some of our side sticks. And a Versus Stack. Pretty awesome. All right, so I just finished up at Pro Drum in LA and did a little cymbal, cymbal demo for a guy. Uh, brought some other cymbals. I've got more coming today. Uh, I'm just hopping around LA, sitting in traffic for a long time, uh, meeting with some people. So let's uh, continue this day in the life of a North Carolina cymbalsmith in LA. All right, so as you can see, I'm in different clothes. Uh, yesterday ended up being a crazy day. Uh, stopped by a studio, met with a drummer, and we demoed some cymbals. And then after, the, after that, I went over to Jerry Porter's spot. Uh, you might have seen... If you go on Instagram, there's a Instagram live we did together talking about symbols, and um, it was just a very full day. But I've got more clips of what I'm doing today, which is going to another studio to meet with another drummer, friend of mine, and he plays uh, a few of my symbols, I think. So we'll see if he has them with him on the session. And then I'm going to go back to Jerry's spot at Hazel Should and do a little quick thing of the symbols that I left that are available or will be available on Hazel Should. Dot com. So let's head. Backing up, backing up, backing up. Backing up. So I'm in the studio with Kevin Vanden Elzen, incredible drummer, and he has a set of some of my cymbals. Uh, 22. I think this is a little over 22, right? Is yeah, it's 22 20, and a half. 22, 22 and a half. Uh, Swish Knocker Prism Series. And then we did a 22 Tributary. Is yep. that right? Yeah. Yep. Two rivets. And then the 20 Landmark Brilliance. Mm -hmm. I'm remembering this. Wow. Amazing. And then we did some 14 tributary heads. Those, I think you call label. those signatures. Oh, this is this is old. These yeah, are old ones. Old, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember these. Yeah. Killer. 
And let's shout out Paul Francis here with the 18 Symbol Craftsman. Cool. So yeah, I look forward to hearing this when it comes out. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, man. Uh, that studio is called Tritone. It's Tritone Records. And I was looking on the wall. I didn't get a chance to show it, but on the wall, uh, he had the owner had all the CDs and all the records that they had done there. And there was a ton of stuff with Jeff Jeff Hamilton, Joe LaBarbera. Uh, there was stuff with um, Peter Erskine. Uh, I, un, I unwittingly walked into an incredible, incredible studio. Uh, so, yeah, look up Tritone Records. And, yeah, that, you know, I didn't obviously didn't want to capture any of them recording because obviously it's their music. So uh, maybe I'll try and post below what the project is and uh, you guys can keep a lookout for Kevin uh, with that trio. So music, incredible music. Um, and I'll have to also post the names of the other musicians involved so you guys can keep an eye out for when that record drops. But that was really cool to hear my cymbals in that environment. Oftentimes I'm, I'm kind of surprised when I hear my own cymbals uh, recorded or I I'm in a situation like in a studio and I'm hearing playback of my cymbals. I didn't know it was all my cymbals that he was playing, but he had, you know, full set like I showed. And uh, just being able to hear stuff translate. I was talking to Kevin in the studio just a minute ago about the difference between drummers and how we perceive sound behind the kit versus how the sound translates through the mics and through, you know, in a room and how an audience will perceive the sound of the drums and the cymbals. And how uh, being able to balance those two things, if you just pay attention to what you hear and you're not paying attention to, well, how is this translating in the music, then you get into trouble. So we were talking about that. And um, all of those symbols were were fairly lightweight. I, I, I didn't get the weights on them in the video, but I can remember them now. So the 22 Swish, I think, was around 2,200 grams. So thin for a 22. The 22 tributary in the main position was also around 2,200 grams, 2,190, I think. So very thin. The patina is what helps that dryness, give it that dryness and that clarity. The left side was, it was about uh, 1,790, I think. And then the hats were a real old set that I had made years ago that are 14, and they were, I want to say, like 810 grams over top of a 790 gram. So match-weighted, but the bottom hi-hat being, being lighter. So... Uh, they had great clarity through the mics, and it was, you know, a trio setting, so quieter. Um, but yeah, I was really happy with that. That was really cool to meet Kevin in person. I've known him uh, for a few years, obviously, uh, but only over the interwebs. So Kevin Vanden Elzen, you can also see him do a lot of demos at the Memphis Drum Shop for the Jim Pettit's spot there. So um, you can hear his incredible playing there, but definitely check out Kevin. And it's off to the next spot. All right, so I am currently in uh, the mecca of, of symbols, the infamous Jerry Porter of Hazel Should. And yesterday, or two days ago, I dropped off three symbols. One is gone, but I have these two left uh, that are going to be available. Uh, one of which he posted the other day on Instagram. So we got this 22 and a half Labyrinth, 2425 grams. His demo is way better than this will be, but give you an idea. that guy and the 23 landmark 2350 some grams so these are available on uh, Jerry's site and you uh, can reach out to him you can also get I mean as you can see as many symbols as you could ever want. He's got some of the coolest selections. He has the coolest selection of anyone. Hazelshow.com. All right, thanks for watching, guys. As always, drop a comment below and uh, let me know what you think. You can go to Hazelshow's website and Pro Drum's website, and you can order the stuff that I left there. Um, if it's not available online, you can just hit them up directly and ask them for either the stack ring or the Timothy Roberts symbols. And until next time, I'm Timothy Roberts. Thanks for watching.